Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. This is the most bourgeois Chuck I've ever seen. Also, what the hell is that thing? It's an elephant. What? No, it's not. It looks like a, some kind of weird, like, terracotta craft well, that you well, sell. Well, that's the thing. Remember, this place is supposed to take place in something okay. akin to Great Britain. Okay. So, obviously, they look like teapots. Oh. Oh. I, it's a tea... It's a teapot elephant. Yes. <laughs> that it is. It has little tea... Okay. So, yeah. I want to I wanna play a game during this series while we're here. Yes. Um... We don't know his name. We don't know that Pokemon's name, and there's going to be a bunch of Pokemon that we don't know the names for, right? Or have you looked them up already? Nah, I don't really remember their names. So, so I, you're trying to guess what yeah, this I'm, elephant Yeah, I'm saying Teapot's we should play the is. game of guess the name before we read the name, and... An obvious one would be T-Font. Except the thing is, we've already had Don Fan for an elephant-like Pokemon. Hmm... But tea font just sounds right because a fountain of tea, or like a, a type of glassware that maybe just fonty, font fonty. Yeah, fonty. Fonty? No, yeah. that would be a cute name for an an elephant teapot. Okay. Thanks for the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon Trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Whoa, that's Leon? <laughs> what kind of outfit is this? Uh, I mean, Leon is a regal name. Yeah. And it denotes lion. And yeah, he but like, lose like the king. cape of the crown and he'd look halfway good. The cape of the crown just make him look goofy. This game is called Sword and Shield. Oh. Exhibition. Exhibition or not. Le well, all right. I don't lose battles, Ryan. <laughs> Charizard Dynamax. I'll figure out a voice for him later when I'm not rushing. Yeah, we should have brushed that swiftly. Well, yeah, a, I... This is a cutscene mode. Yeah. Alright, Dynamax Charizard. Pokemon Shield. <gasps> oh. And there's our starter. So cute. Is there an evolution for Wulu? Do we know? There probably is. By the way, might as well pull out the call now. If somebody can get us a uh, a far fetched, I'd be thankful. <laughs> Aww. Is that a phone or a DS? Or a switch? Uh, I think it's the guy at the door. Hello, hello. Hmm? Oh, is that your new? Uh, is that your flash new phone, Mia? Are you? Watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, it's Mum, of course. Of course. Ah, but I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Mia. Uh, never mind watching the match now. Oh, we should have been hip. Hmm? Hip and hop. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, gosh. That would be terrible. We don't know how long. I, I assume this is our childhood friend, perhaps yeah. rival. Who knows? Friend rival. Except for they've become significantly less rivally over the years. And now they're just kind of like sidekick slash sometimes battles you for fun, maybe, but is totally like. What I am supportive. concerned about is that Mum's Pokemon of choice is the pre evolution for Snorlax. You saw it in the living room, right? 
I mean, she just likes hanging off of Snorlax's nipples. She saw, she saw Let's Go. She <laughs> Let's Go. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Wait, wait, wait a minute. He does have the same hair color. Oh, this yeah. This is the younger brother. Oh, that's kind of a neat, neat new twist. I like that. Come with me, Mia. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't f forget that bag if I were you. I gotta run. See you at mine later. Okay, I actually really appreciate this intro so far. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot more like, hey, you are a character. You're silent for some unknown reason. But oh, like, that must be the, the dog bed for... Holy shit, I am fast. Actually, if you spin around in circles. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Yeah! Okay. Stop. Yeah! I like that! <laughs> so that's where the budget, budget went. <laughs> Meaningless side animations for the main character. Oh, this is not smooth, though. Rushing off in that state, Mia. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. We inspect the house a bit. I want to... Like, this actually seems to be... Yeah, this seems like a house. A, a ha <gasps> is this your bedroom? Yep. No door, mind you. Mother watches you as you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so... I love this little rug. The round rug that looks like a Pokeball. That's a and there's, rug. And there's Eevee. Actually, did you upload our save data from Let's Go Eevee? Oh, should I? Do I need to? Uh, it gets you things. Let me I, look that up real quick. I think specifically in the Dynamax, we get to face the Eevee one. Mm. But that might be much later on. I don't know if you need to do it at the onset. While you look that up, I'll read this. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Now, do you know what's interesting? I wonder if it's always the default colors of blue and red, or if it's because of the controllers that we have put in. Like, if we had our purple and orange set, if it would be visible there. Okay, so how to get a Gigantamax, Pikachu, and Eevee. It's a brand new telly. Your mom bought it so that you could use your game console. Yes, indeed. Yep, same thing. Oh, that's oh, cute. Oh, like wait, the, the Switch in game has your controller colors? Hold well, up. I mean, I see this here. Oh, but we should switch. You want to switch? Maybe. Here, uh, can, can you save? Can we switch? Oh, sure. Here, give me. Sure, I suppose. Wait, you want to see if it does switch? Yeah, I want to see if it switches uh, to our new controller colors. Are they fully charged? Yeah. They've been fully charged for hours. You're going to have to decouple and recouple them, won't you? Sorry that we just seem to be testing things out. This is just really interesting. The whole spinning animation, the potential for the controllers to change color. Would they have to take into account the new colors, though? I suppose the game did get released after the new controllers were. Click on Good. All right, let's see. For science! Yeah, I don't know if you have to just switch the controllers around or reload the game. Hopefully reloading the game. But yeah, we... Put them on the Yep, there they are! <gasps> Look! There they are! Oh, that's that's a lovely it, little system. It's our purple and orange set! That's amazing. It's the little things. <laughs> oh, it's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. Oh, no. Mother doesn't watch you sleep. That's just does the family bed. Does mother have a bedroom? Mother does not have a bedroom. Unless it's through that back door. Oh, That maybe. you just never have access to. That's possible. Unless that's the broom closet. <sighs> then again, the broom is outside the closet. Oh, didn't you leave it in your room? Yeah. Hmm. That your might be bag. the bathroom door. It might be the bathroom. You're right. Mother sleeps in the tub. 
You grabbed your mum's old bag. Adventure guide. Okay, okay, we already know all of these things. All right. Are you going to talk with mom before you depart? Farewell, mother. I will never see you again. Is she? Are those boots? Yep. Little She's got boots. galoshes on. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. <laughs> Funny joke. Dangerous If only you knew, mother, where dangerous. I was headed. If only you knew the dangers that awaited me. <laughs> oh wait, there will be no dangers, because I'm going to be overgrinded as hell. <laughs> Boy. These look like homes fit for a hobbit hole. Yeah. They're adorable. I'll, I'll give credit. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. That's out in the... Ba -dee -ba -dee. Yep. Mother farms badoos. We eat them for breakfast. Badoo doo That's what it says. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at you, Mia. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's big as a Snorlax. A Wooloo. Uh, what's it doing there? Clearly wants to get through the gate. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there's scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. <laughs> now that that's taken care of, it's still doing it. How about it, Mia? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag. I love how the sheep roll. Do we know if the Pokemon will follow you in this one? Like, walk behind you? Maybe if they're your first selected one. Where is his house? Hi, Mia. Hop is looking for you, you know? But no need to go, uh, no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Right next door? Is this his house? Right yeah, probably with the the match field and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Uh, of course he beat you to it. Oh, yeah. And there's his mother. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Mia. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed, crammed in a cupboard? Still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. No patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee's hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with Mia. Or, you got to come with Mia. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. It's humorous because you can tell that that's your ultimate goal. To eventually beat the unbeatable brother. Yep. Go on with Hop to pick up Leon, won't you, Mia? I know you're the reliable sort, unlike my son. I'll ha I'll have everything ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you're all back. But first, raid the... He has an upstairs! And look, there's Grandma! Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home. But I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Okay, someone really loves weight training, yoga balls, hats. Oh, and this must be your friend's room. Yeah, this is Hop's room. And this is Grandma's room. <laughs> Boy, that Grandma <laughs> pumps that iron. What is... Uh, okay. I like the they, fact... They only ever have the rooms for kids. Also, can you go into their living room? I really love the way that they set these up. Those are the championship plates. Mm-hmm. There's all their awards. Oh. Oh, there's Grandpa. Hop, his brother's a superhero. To me, he's no one. Yeah. And there's nothing else here. 
But can we sprint faster? No, probably not. So that's the barbecue. They have a little pond. Oh, I so really like that view. Mm -hmm. This view is actually what sold me on the game. I was just like, alright, fine. Being able to actually see stuff and an environment in a Pokemon game actually, will actually be quite a lot. Look up ahead. See that with the steeple? That's definitely the train station yep. with the O1, and there's a crowd gathered waiting to... Oh, yeah. Just waiting for the brother to return home. He's That's probably gonna... just, like, the local hero. Yep. It is very low res, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Mia. Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Mia. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. I want to play a Pokemon game where you don't get a starter. You just have, like, your mom's There are options for Rattata. resolution and stuff, right? Right? No. On the Switch? What? Let's see. Okay, casual condition. Oh, easier to play with one hand. That's actually really nice. What's going on? Uh, what? Well, that's because you switched the controls. Oh. So that you only needed one hand. Did you set it back to default? Uh. Yeah, I'll reset to default. Wait, what? Wait, did you just choose to skip movies? I said reset to default. Okay, can okay, we check I'm... to make sure it's all default? Okay, skip movies is off. Everything is good. Oh, thank goodness. Can we get back to the game? Oh, I'm gonna set tech speed as fast. Uh... Okay, set and end. There we go. There we go. All right, on our way. And oh, there's a Pokeball. No wandering into that tall grass if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Aww. I'm just curious if I can still use L as a confirm button. Because my right Look. hand hurts. There he is. The Charizard's so tiny. Yeah, all the Pokemon in this game are very, very small. Charizard isn't very big, though, comparatively. I thought he was supposed to be six feet, at oh. the very least. I mean, I think that is six feet. Yeah, if he's six feet. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst! Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch! It's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and your Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that! I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokémon and never shy from battle! Then come challenge me for the championship title! We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee! Oh, but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, the Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge. And come battle me! My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. <laughs> Lee! Up! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, Ailey. And these bright eyes over here. It must be... Oh, I've got it! You must be Mia, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar's region greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Mia. Bet I can beat you both of you back home. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Intent. Oh, he's not wearing a crown. That's just a dumb hat. <laughs> Well, he has a whole whole slew of ba baseball caps in his room, I just room, noticed right? that. <laughs> oh. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time.
Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought me and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Oh, is he just gonna unleash them all? Take a good look, you two. Grass type Pokemon Grookey, Fire type Pokemon Score Bunny, and the Water type Pokemon Sobble. Oh shoot, I'm never getting them back, am I? Well, <laughs> you're just stuck with the bunny, I guess. <laughs> I just split it down the middle. <laughs> I never learned how to climb. Charizard burned down the tree. <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, that pissed off the bunny. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> All right, line up, everyone. Which will you choose? Go on. Oh, go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. No question. Score Bunny is a fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. We're set on the fire type Pokemon Score Bunny. Yup. We chose Score Bunny. Would you like to give Score Bunny a nickname? Yes. It's male. Perfect. Ooh, nice. It, they're usually male. I think, yeah, there's the. I uh, think it's like a 75% chance that they're male. Kazuma or just Cosma? I think it's Cosma. Do you want to check it? Yeah, let's just double to check. Make sure. Just to make sure. I remember a long time ago, Wander had requested yep. that I see Summer Wars, and I actually did at one point with a friend of mine. Such a cute film. Loved it. Honestly, really liked the character. Of King way Kazuma. too close in plot to Digimon, Digimon for me, but whatever. He so, just reminded us of him instantly. Yep. yep. So it'll be score bunny for you. Nice one. Uh, I'll go with Grookey, you fool. You're <gasps> mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Who's like, back off, monkey. This is my <laughs> turf. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Mia. So the two of you can battle, and train and grow to uh, grow stronger together, to try and reach me. Oh no, what's happened to him? Poor Sobble! And you'll come with me. Ah. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Okay, that's a nice alternative. Mm-hmm. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon, and let's all eat. Where are the dads? Dead. All of them. Remember, there's a big war. All of the dads died. Is that the real explanation? Yeah. What? Yeah. There's a reason why almost all of the men in Pokemon past a certain point are, like, middle-aged. Like, especially in the original one, um, almost all of them are middle-aged, and I think Lieutenant Surge even talks about it. Well, he definitely was, well, lieutenant in the war, so that makes sense. But him. The next day... You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? To... You two getting on all, all right? Understanding one another? Maybe you've even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Mia's made fast friends with her score bunny, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who's going to be challenging you. <laughs> If you think Mia might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. 
Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first-rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. See how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. Believe in your partner in Pokemon, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll be able to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike, then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind it, uh, at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Lulu. Go King Kazma. Pokemon battle it is then. I got two partners with me. Oh, why did you choose King Kazma as opposed to just Kazma? Uh, because it fit. Also, it's King Kazma in. I just like calling him Kazma. Well, we can call him Kazma. He's just I just want to keep the whole thing. I mean, you did say his his uh like crest looks like a crown. Uh, could be. Like for the for the evolved version, absolutely. But yeah, Hop sometimes has no teeth. I've noticed that. It's really weird. Oh. Yeah, sometimes he just has gums. I think it's adorable how Wulu has these tiny little horns. Yep. We'll, we'll grab a Wulu. I'm probably not going to go through the effort of catching too many Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But I will be probably catching a Wulu. <laughs> we learned Ember. Oh, this is such a freaking setup. Yep. That's so mean. Oh, you forgot to say what he was. Oh, uh, sorry. I was too busy laughing at the fact that it leveled me up just for this fight, so I could just completely skunk his Pokemon. Like, this is not okay. Mm-hmm. It's super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Yes. Yes. I'm they glad kid. that they acknowledged that. You should have spent the whole night just grinding. Maybe then you would have been able to beat me. But no! You picked the wrong type advantage, dumb nuts. Wonder. What? You don't need to be smack talking like that. I am smack talking hard. I miss the old days where you were at a disadvantage, because it always felt better. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that score bunny are too much. Oh, that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun and wreck the shit out of you. <laughs> Good effort there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Mia, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a ri real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. He's never going to win a batch. He's... the only match he's ever gonna win is against you. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You joined the Gym Challenge. You think you're ready for a single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. That's really what you want to do. You two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Mia, before you think about getting the Gym Badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon there, including their strengths. It's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, we'll get on- we'll, uh, Right, right, we'll get it. Pokedexes, then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Mia. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple po Pokedex will be nothing. Just another pledge in the tale of my legend. You better go tell your mom that we're heading out too, though. What? Mia, did you hear that just now? Oh, did the Wooloo actually succeed in getting through the fence? Oh, the gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there. 
I mean, it was headbutting that thing for a whole night. Go figure, it would <laughs> finally break through. Poor thing probably has massive Dame Bramage. It was tackling. Did you just this... say Dame Brannon? Yeah, it's the Simpsons reference. Oh, okay. Reference. Blah. <laughs> now you're starting. Now I'm just now I'm just messing up un unintentionally. It was tackling that fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But soft limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. I mean, what do you say? We we've, gotta save it. We've got to save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for every or anything, because we're going in, Mia. Yeah. Ooh, the slumbering wheels. And this is where we see the legendary dog. Or dogs, maybe both of them. Who knows? That Wulu. Where'd you think he got off to? Fog's really coming in thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, we might be in trouble. Oh, what? Oh, already? What is? <gasps> what? Squirrelvit? It has chunky cheeks. It looks like a squirrel. Boy, it's gonna burn. It does look really cute. I'm not sure if it looks like a Pokemon, though. It... Uh, it kind of does. I mean, it does. I don't know. The way they've changed the eyes over the years bothers me a lot. Because mm -hmm. it's just... It's not the same anymore. Oh, that's oh, neat. But can we sneak y through the grass? Kind of. Ah, so that's how we approach things from a distance, maybe. Maybe some Pokemon will flee from us in the future. That'd be interesting. Or you have to use stealth tactics to be the first game to implement stealth. Doing all right there, Score Bunny? Let's be sure you're in tip-top shape. He is just going to patch us up. Wow. Now, take care to look at your surroundings. It'd be interesting if there was something out there in that fog. Oh, that would be really cool if you could see oh. things moving around. <gasps> A rookie D. Okay, we're not going to be playing Guess That Name. It, well, it apparently just... it's a chickadee. And here's the question. It looks like it's got angry eyes. Or... But the eyes are above it, uh, oh, and below. Yeah, See? so it looks like those are those are big, like, white whites of the eyes. But no, that's just like a mark around the eye. Mm -hmm. That's going to take some getting used to. I'm not going to stick around in this woods. I know, uh... Well, we don't have Pokeballs, do yeah, we? Yeah, we don't have Pokeballs. Also, just like... I'm just going to uh -oh. wreck everything. What's that music? Did you hear that? Is that a Pokemon crying out? Do you think? Very techno. Oh. Yeah, I'm Already? curious... I'm curious ah. which, uh, which song we're going to hear that's by, uh, Toby Fox. We'll have to see. Hmm. It very well could be for the Gigamax or whatever they call it. Yeah. It probably would be Gigamax, if anything. Oh, it's, his song is post-game. Wow. I mean, good on oh, him. Oh, so credits? Uh, or, like, after you beat the game, there might be, like, a legendary Pokemon or, like, an mm. extra battle or something. Mm -hmm. Look at those cheeks. Oh my. What are they filled with wonder? I mean, probably nuts. <laughs> but my, my mind went to worse things. There's nothing but watermelon seeds. You hit the thing and it just kind of explodes. And it's like, <laughs> Come on, Mia. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. I do like it these environments. Like like these Almost. are these are nice uh, environments and stuff. Just wander around. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I now get why this place is off limits. Oh. <gasps> 
What in the? It says Greel? Greel! Question mark appeared. Well, Growl. I didn't know the legendaries had a pre evolved version. Looks like they do. Wait, the miss. What the? The move had no effect on it? I don't. I don't feel right about attacking him, per se. Oh, it's their so normal he, form. He's the source of the mist. Mia, I can't see anything. You okay? Can't run away for some reason. Looks like we have to fight then. Growl. Trying to be a pacifist in this instance. I mean, what's the point? I growl. Going to be increasingly... It just farts more mist. <laughs> I can't even see the UI anymore. I can't see anything. <laughs> ah! uh -oh. I have no idea who's making the noises. I'm assuming that's... Did he get snatched up by the legendary dog? Oh, how how much of a reversal would that be if your rival just gets straight up, like, ganked in the beginning of the game? Well, there you are. Oh, no. Oh. He's okay? Hop, Mia. What? Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We're trying to rescue that Wulu. <laughs> Meh. Meh. The little chap's just fine. All of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Mia? I thought we had it in when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Their moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wheels. Are they actually illusions or something? It's strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. But now, let's simply... Yay. <laughs> Get out of this place. You'll all be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we dig it an earful from Lee. What an experience! This makes a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee did just did. I wonder if he had chosen a male character if it would have been a little sister. Or is it always going to be a brother? Hmm? For your rival? I, I think it hops always. Hops male. always a guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, now, isn't Scorbunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. I never use potions. Remember that Scorbunny will battle to the very end for you. Everyone else's end. So don't you go pushing the poor dare too hard. It will slaughter everything. Yeah. And you, Scorbunny, look after my little Mia. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west. Home is best. 